This is my wonderful, beautiful fiance, who's also very respectful. So what I'm gonna to talk to you about today is what I believe to be the most important key to having A, a successful relationship, and B, to not be traumatized by your intimate relationship. And what that is, is respect. Without respect, everything else falls apart. So a little bit about my background. I have dealt with severe trauma from my childhood for many years. In fact, I went on the healing journey 10 years ago and I've learned some things over the years through a lot of trial and error, uh, through a lot of beating my head against the wall. And I wanna share the insights that I've learned with you to speed up time to speed up your healing process so you don't have to take 10 years like I did. Although in fairness, um, it, it's a lifelong process and, and after a few years I was doing much, much better. Uh, but be that as it may, I wanna try and help you out. I wanna speed up time for you. So let's talk about respect and relationships. Why is that so critical? Uh, the reason is, is because life is not a Disney movie especially before I had started processing, healing, and releasing my own traumas, the way I looked at relationships and the way that I'm sure a lot of you look at relationships as well is I want to find my amazing princess. Or if you're, or if you're a woman, I want, I want to find my knight in shining armor, my prince charming. And... I kept thinking, if I just meet that right person, um, that will fix everything. All the trauma won't matter. Um, she'll be there for me. She'll basically be my mommy. Um, and everything will be hunky-dory. And uh, because of that, what I focused on was um, passion and, and looks and fun and excitement and um, you know, not that there's anything wrong with that, those are all positive qualities and, and luckily I, I do have that with, with my fiance. Um, but what the mistake that I made, and ask yourself if you've made the same mistake, is early on there would be red flags. Um, my intimate partner would kind of say something mean or sarcastic, um, or even even early on might have a little bit of an outburst, and, and, and you think to yourself, well, look, nobody's perfect. Anybody can have a bad day. I, I shouldn't overreact about this. The, the, the partner, they have all these other amazing qualities. Uh, I'll just let it go. And guess what? Ignoring those red flags, is a huge mistake. And it's something that has burned me many times in my life. I've been dating for 30 years. <laughs> um, you know, I, I'm, I, I look younger than my age. I'm currently 44. Uh, I start, started, you know, with high school sweetheart at 14. So 30 years of experience with relationships um, and Again, like I said, focused on the, the wrong things too much, ignored red flags too much. And you need to pay very, very close attention to not just how the, your significant other, not to just how he or she is treating you early on. Look at how they interact with their friends. Look at how they interact with their family. And most importantly, Look at how they interact with people that they have power over. Uh, so what's an example of that? A bartender or a server. Are they kind? Are they respectful? Or are they demanding? Are they mean? Do they complain a lot? These are all massive red flags. And if there's any type of disrespect, don't ignore that. Call it out in the moment. You don't have to be a jerk about it, but you can just say, hey, you know, what you said that was a little bit hurtful. Um, what's going on? And see 
how your significant other responds, especially early on. Do they get defensive? Do they gaslight you and try and blame you for why they were being disrespectful? Or is it more a situation of like, gosh, I, I, I didn't realize that I was coming off kind of nasty or disrespectful. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll, I'll be more aware in the future um, and, and I'll do better. Because look, none of us are perfect. We all make mistakes. But the issue is, how do you repair? And is your partner willing to accept responsibility, willing to repair, and also willing to change behavior if it's something that you feel is, again, disrespectful or not nice or unkind? That will tell you a lot. Don't bite your tongue. Don't ignore the red flags, because I'll tell you what can happen. And what's happened to me in, in multiple past relationships is that it starts really, really small. You let it slide. You don't say anything. And over time, the disrespect increases and it happens more frequently. And before you know it, you can end up in a situation. Um, you know, I had one relationship in particular where I, I thought she was amazing, she was intelligent, we would travel, we had so much passion, all these adventures. And, and early on, there was, um, you know, a couple of red flags, but like I said, a couple of disrespectful comments, uh, lost her temper at me a couple of times, but it, it was so, it wasn't a daily thing, it was like maybe once every couple of months. Uh, but also she would complain a lot at restaurants and stuff like that. And again, I disregarded all of it. Uh, what, what's another thing? Also got into some conflicts with people at work and, and with friends. And I disregarded all of that because I was like, well, you know, that's them, that's not me. And that's why it's important to very closely observe um, what your significant other, how they interact with others. Because I can promise you, that if they're nasty to other people, if they're demanding with other people, if they're disrespectful with other people, eventually, as soon as they feel comfortable with you, and as soon as they feel that, that you're in love and they got you, guess what? All those behaviors will eventually turn at you. And, and so you can't stick your head in the sand. Because in my situation, I stuck my head in the sand. This wasn't the only relationship that I did it in. Um, and, and the frequency got to the point where I felt I was being disrespected on a daily basis. There were emotional outbursts on a daily basis. There was tons of gaslighting when I would say, hey, what, you, what you're doing is hurting my feelings. It doesn't feel good to be yelled at. Will you please not yell at me, speak to me with some respect, I would be gaslit and, and blamed for, uh, for causing the outburst. And again, none of us are perfect, but just because somebody, you know, ticks you off or violates some standard that you have, the way to address that is to speak to them kindly and with respect. It's not to berate them or scream at them or belittle them uh, or even worse, uh, there were there were times where, where she would disparage me in front of my family and friends. And it even got to the point where uh, some of my family and some of my friends told me straight up, like, hey, if she's with you, we're happy to hang out with you. If she's with you, we don't want to be around. And that was really embarrassing and really humiliating. And again, it didn't start this way. It started off like an amazing fairy tale and it turned into a nightmare. Can you relate? Has that ever happened to you? Has that happened to you maybe several times? Well, it's time to break the pattern. So again, the key is focus very deeply on how does your significant other treat others? How do they get along with family? How do they get along with friends? And how do they treat people that are subservient to them or are serving them in that moment, again, like, like a server or a valet? And that will tell you a lot. And do not ignore the red flags. 
Again, if you see a red flag, bring it up immediately and see what the reaction is. And if the reaction is dismissive, aggressive, or gaslighting, that tells you everything that you need to know. It's not gonna get better, it's gonna get worse. And if somebody is not ever willing to accept any responsibility for their behavior and not care about how they're making you or others feel, that's not a relationship that you want to be deeply involved in. So again, focus very deeply on is this a kind and respectful person? And, and I can tell you with respect, any issue can be worked out. Without respect, you're going to be re-traumatized you're going to feel triggered. You're going to feel humiliated and gaslit. And it, it's just the relationship can turn into a, a very hellish, unpleasant situation. And life is short. I, I've seen this has happened to me. I've been stuck in those kind of relationships for years. I, I've seen family and friends be stuck in those kinds of relationships for years because they're scared of being alone um, or, or there's some codependency or they feel that they've invested a lot into the relationship. And so it's kind of like the sunk cost effect. You don't want to lose everything that you've invested, but you're not seeing that you're just basically uh, using a, many, uh, a metaphor, throwing, throwing good money after bad, basically throwing more money into a money pit, metaphorically speaking. So don't do that. You deserve to be respected. You deserve to be in a relationship where you're treated with kindness. So don't ignore red flags. Don't make the mistakes that I've made. And then you can end up, once you work on those things, you can end up with somebody who makes you feel amazing. And it might not be a fairy tale every day, but at least you know that they're on your side and they're not gonna ever make you feel bad about yourself. So until next time, please, Stick with the process, work on healing yourself, work on raising your consciousness and your knowledge. And until next time, I love you.